Here in this activity, I'm going to provide you with a series of short videos to help you through the process of learning how to integrate uh, GIS maps into Photoshop for some additional analysis. We're going to continue to build on these skills, but this is really kind of an intro. How do we import new information and bring it into a map in Photoshop that we're already working on? So as you open up the base map, what you're going to find here is that you're going to find that the existing base map is laid out. Um, and it's got three layers that are associated with it. One of them is just the background, just the white layer in the background. Uh, we can toggle it on and off over here on the layers menu. Another one is the major city labels. And again, those are sitting there. And then another one is the rest of the information you see here. So we've got the state outline. We've got the county boundaries. All of the gray are the urban areas. And again, if I turn back on the urban, you'll see that the labels go ahead and correspond for, with that. So what this skill activity is really challenging you to do is to take additional information. How do we bring in additional information and dump it into this map? The final map that was created looks something like this. And what it brings into it is it brings in an understanding of where are Wisconsin's outstanding and exceptional waterways. So highlighted here in green. Where are the impaired waterways? And you see over here in the legend that those are the ones that are in orange. And where does where is there uh, groundwater contamination in private wells? And so this is a nitrate issue in wells. And you'll see that, you know, varying degrees of, of well contamination across the state. But certainly you don't want to be in the dark uh, blue area. But here in central Wisconsin, we actually are. And so, again, things to, to pay attention to. Those three layers are what we're trying to communicate to the public. And the rest of the report dives in and talks about each one of these in details. But, but this initial thing, uh, the cover, was intended to kind of pull people into some of these key problems. So to get started, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and open up the other four layers that I've provided for you. I'll just bring those up here real quick, and I'll, I'll show you what comes in with them. You'll see that we have the contaminated wells layer, right? So all of those little squares that we were just looking at a minute ago in blue are all actually... Lay, laid out here um, in different colors and we'll, we'll walk our way through how we fix that here in a minute. The uh, outstanding waterways, this is just a you know a polyline layer straight out of GIS. Uh, we take that and we're going to integrate it in. Same thing for our impaired waters. Is these are all the impaired waters of Wisconsin that don't meet their uh, designated use categories under you know uh, the Clean Water Act. And then finally, kind of here's the overall hydrology of the state. And we'll talk about, you know, why we didn't include that in the final graphic uh, as we get going. But what I want you to do to get started on this is we're going to actually bring these four layers together first. And there's, there's a simple reason for this, and we'll talk more about it here in just a minute. Um, but if I were just to copy this, and so I'm going to use the, the shortcuts on this. So I want to bring in the hydrology layer into the base map I'm working on. I can go Control A, Control C. So Control A selects all, Control C is copy, and I can come in here and hit Control V. What's wrong? Well, one, I can't see through this to see what's going on behind it to try and line it up. And two, if I go ahead and change that to multiply so I can see through it, you'll see that it's not the right size. So what that means is I'm ultimately going to have to use the free transform tool. I'm even going to have to zoom out. And I'm going to have to shrink that down to size, right? And I'm going to have to make adjustments so that I get it just right. Well, I can do that for each one of these layers. But then there's going to be a little bit of error in each of those layers. So instead, I'm going to show you how to do this all together as one in the next video.